you guys, welcome! Oh my goodness sakes, is it cold this morning? It was like 30 degrees when I woke up. Brr! Am I in Florida? I have no clue. It doesn't feel like it. Anyway, <laughs> so good to see you today. Hey, I'm Roger the Shave Lion. Welcome all of you, and this is episode 227. Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad that you're here. Hey, by the way, we got to remember, the Lord forgives. That's right, you heard me say it, the Lord does forgive. We're going to take one of the greatest examples of that forgiveness in, in God's Word today. The woman who was uh, forgiven of, of adultery. Oh my goodness, my friends. It's so important that we keep our hearts and our minds about this. So very important that we continue down, uh, down in our thoughts and our, the trending of our thought to know that Jesus forgives and wants to forgive. Okay? Make no mind about it. Because somehow we get it into our brains. You know, that since God hates sin, that he's not willing to forgive it. And somehow we think that he is out to be uh, to, to cause retribution to happen. My friends, it's simply not the case. He wants to forgive. He wants to help people move on. He wants people to reorder their lives. And as we think about this, and dwell on this, I'm going to shave. <laughs> How about that? Today, I've decided not to shave the chrome dome. It's just going to be this. And to accomplish that, I have the Tampa Shave Company's Blackout Razor. There you go. Lovely, lovely, and more lovely. And this, I believe, has, yes, the Astra Superior Platinum Razor Blade in it. Um, I'll be also using Barrister and Man's Bay Rum. Yep, there you go, Bay Rum. Lovely soap indeed. And I'm going to pair that up with a lovely, used often, Canard Clubman Aftershave and lotion. Okay. I'm going to be using my uh, Classic Samurai uh, Synthetic Brush. Very nice. And of course I have my Georgetown Pottery Scuttle here. Ready and worn. <laughs> oh. Okay, I better put that down. I believe me, I think I could stick that under my shirt and rest for a couple hours. Wow, it is cold here. Anyway, thank you for joining me. All right, join me for the soaping. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Thank you for joining me. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead with my brush. I'm just going to go ahead and get it uh, squeezed out and wet, hydrated and squeezed out. That's ready to go. I'm going to open my lovely soap, Bay Rum, mm -mm -mm. and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some water to this to bloom it. I'm cold, so the soap must be cold. Burr. Anyway, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and rinse my towel out, which by the way is nice and warm. I am so grateful for the nice and warm towel. Believe you me, it'll be wonderful. Okay. Towel has been ringed out and it's ready to go. All right, now let's go ahead and we're going to dump the water off the soap. I'm gonna move my scuttle out of the way for the moment. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and load the brush. Goodness gracious alive. I hope that you are warmer than I am. Anyway, um, I'm very pleased to be here today. I ask the Lord to bless each and every one of you, that he would direct you in all your ways, and that you would allow yourself to experiment, and that you would experiment with hearing his voice. Yes. I want you to take a very, very concerned effort at hearing the Lord's voice. It is so vitally important because once you get that, it is wonderful. He will direct your paths and it's marvelous. All right. There we go. I have a nice loaded brush. I'm going to go ahead and clean up all the extra goodies here. Let me go ahead and put this uh, 
do front and center. And I'm going to go ahead and just clean this out. Get all the good stuff in there that I've worked up. Gosh, it smells good. It always smells good. I like this one. Okay. I've set that off to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to give it a whip. And here we go. Oh, it's going famously well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Not tons, but just enough to get a nice drawfy lather going here. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Lovely. And there's more than enough in there to do my face and my head if I were doing my head, but I'm not doing my head today. All right, you guys. Oh, guess what? We got to read God's Word. Let's do that. I've got God's Word here, and the Lord has chosen this for us today. Okay, I've got God's Word here. Here we go. I'm going to read from John chapter 8, verses 2 through verse 11. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him and sat down and taught them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and placing her in the midst. They said to, to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. Now in the law of Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? This they said to test him they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. And, one, and once more he bent down to write and wrote on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the older ones. And Jesus left was left alone with the woman standing before him. And Jesus stood up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, sin no more. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's unpack some of this. We will meet upstairs for the shave and the devotion. Hiya! Imagine seeing you here! I got my lovely towel, it's time to present the towel, and I'm really happy because it's nice and warm. Okay, you guys ready? Present the towel. Lovely, lovely, and more lovely. Okay, very good. Jesus forgives sin. That is his business. That is what he does. He wants to forgive us. And in this example, we have this woman who obviously is having a time of it. She was caught red-handed in adultery. And according to the law of Moses, yes, such a woman should be stoned. This much is true. But Jesus uses this as a lesson to people who are being so quick to condemn others. So let's face it. We can get kind of mean and nasty sometimes. And that's not a good thing. I mean, it really isn't. 
sometimes we try and we try and we try. Ugh. First pass, here we go. And the thing is... Jesus knows this person's life. Inside and out. Both the past, <laughs> the past, present, and future. He understands it all. And the great thing is... Is that the Lord continues to show grace and mercy at every step, at every turn. Now, of course, the Jews did this to test Jesus. They wanted to catch him in some kind of trap. I can't claim to know exactly what that trap was, though. But, they were there and ready to execute justice immediately. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's almost like they were seething with bloodlust to see this woman killed. And, you know, there's a problem with that. Like something from AWA Wrestling, maybe. Ah! <laughs> At any rate, this woman, this poor woman, who is indeed guilty, is brought into the temple. We're at the temple. Before Jesus and other people, obviously. And guess what? They're trying to make some shining example out of her. Or not so shining, in this case. And Jesus throws out the statement. And a most wonderful statement it is. He tells them, Let you, who are without sin, be the first to cast a stone. Ooh. Talk about a self-inductive question. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, he was speaking. Ugh! right to their hearts. Look at yourself. Have you not sinned? Stone it if you think that you have sinned. I find very interesting in all this. The older ones go away first. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I think it's awesome. Alright. Cross grain shave here. Yeah. The older ones go first. They have lived a full life, you know. And if you think about it, it's funny. Because, you know, hey, they lived their lives. And they are, yeah, indeed. They know they are sin. They have lived a life full of sin. Just like every single person has. But this is not as much focused on the sin, my friends. Well, it is in part, but Jesus, after they've all gone away and she is left alone with him, asks her, Woman, what does he say exactly? I want to get that right. Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? <laughs> And guess what happened? In that beauty of the situation, she answers back and she says, No one, Lord. And then Jesus says these most beautiful words. He says, neither do I condemn you. And he says, go. And from now on, sin no more. My friends, he doesn't want us to sin. But when we screw up, when we do, <laughs> when we do the unthinkable, when we 
when we have overburdened ourselves to the point that we that we give in to sin and and commit it, and even commit the sins that the world detests the most. Calls you and I to come to Him to receive that forgiveness. Jesus forgives her. Remember, by the law, by the law of Moses, in the presence of witnesses, she was a dead duck. And yet Jesus, in His mercy, sends them away by asking this one inductive question, and then He forgives her. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that wonderful? This woman has another chance to live her life and to please God. Okay? And that's the point here, my friends. Jesus gives you more chances. If you screw up, you can run to Him. You can forgive Him. Uh, you can ask for forgiveness. He will forgive you and you can move on your life. I've done it thousands and thousands of times, come before me. Yes, I sin that much. I daily sin much. Unfortunately, I am a sinner. I do need my Savior Jesus. He is my Lord and Savior. He is my Lord and Savior from sin, death, to the power of the devil. He's the only one that could free me from this body of death, as Paul says. But you know, we gotta keep in mind too, Jesus did say these words is too. These words too, go and sin no more. In other words, from this day forward, try not to sin. Don't sin. Do your best not to sin. Jesus not only wants us to have faith in him, but he wants us to live a life of righteousness. Obedience to him. He wants that from you. Yes, you. He wants you to obey Him. He's willing to let bygones be bygones and forgive, but then He calls you to action in the Gospel and in faith to do the good things that He has called you to do and to obey His Word. It's not an unreasonable thing for Him to ask. This woman here, yeah, he asked her to sin no more. Is she going to fail? <laughs> I guarantee it. There Jesus is still again to forgive. My friends, if we have sinned, if we have offended God in some horrible way, let us run to him. Let us clasp on to him. Let us pour out our heart to him. He's going to hear us, and He will forgive. Gosh, that's wonderful. Alright, final. Against the Green Pass. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased with that. It works for me. All right, and now, bring in the aftershave. Once again, this is the Nod Clubman aftershave lotion. Lovely, 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 enjoy.
There we go. I'm good to go. Ready for another day. Hey, you guys, make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and share it. Remember when you share, things really get going. And you're sending God's word. You're being a missionary when you send this to other people to have them listen to it. All right, you guys. <laughs> Gosh, I'm messy. <laughs> Have a great day in the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he give you Nick Free and Baby Butt Smooth Chains. Have a great day, everybody. Toodles!